Right, Sean here at Grim Parts Co. And today I'm going to be taking the entire front fork off of this. So we thought we'd just go over that procedure with you. This is a great procedure if you're going to be replacing your neck bearings, uh, which on occasion you're going to need to do. This particular bike is getting a complete uh, gigacycle front fork, and we're super excited about that. It's an inverted front fork uh, based off a of 750 GSXR. So we're going to go ahead and tear this apart and get it prepped to install that front fork. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is bleed the front brakes. I take the cap off your master cylinder and then I actually have a vacuola. We'll hook it up to the bleeder screw and we'll suck all the brake fluid out of here. Once that's done, I'll disconnect the brake lines completely and take them off. And then I'll go ahead and take the calipers off the lower legs. So I'll take the master cylinder off first. You've got it drained already. Bust your uh, banjo bolt loose now because it's typically on pretty tight. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove the hand controls. There's a bolt on the top and bottom of these. There's two on the face of the brake cylinder and the clutch perch. I usually do this last little part by hand. That way you can take your bolt out like so and take it off all easily without dropping it all on the floor. If your clutch is already, cable is still uh, connected, disconnect that and then go ahead and remove the hand controls. At that point, go ahead and remove the bars disconnect uh, the bars from the risers. It's a good idea to loosen your risers first. Freedom chicken, man. Do whatever you want, brother. At the triple tree, if you're gonna be replacing them for some reason. Um, and that way, with the bars and everything on, these will come loose easier, crack them loose, take your bars off, then you can easily unthread your risers from the triple trees. Okay, then I like to go ahead and take the front wheel off, loosen your axle and your pinch bolt, Tap out your uh, axle, remove the front wheel and set it off to the side and go ahead and remove your front fender. Carefully remove it so you don't scratch this beautiful paint job. At that point, you can go ahead and move on to draining your front forks. Okay, so now your forks are drained. You're gonna wanna have, go ahead and wanna pull each fork leg. There's a pinch bolt on either side. I like to loosen typically the lower pinch bolt and then loosen your upper pinch bolt. And when you do that, you wanna make sure you have a hand on the fork because it will slide out. Then you can gently slide this leg out and then move over to the other side and do the same procedure. Okay, there's a couple reasons why you would change your neck bearings. Uh, one of them be like they're really dry and they're actually rusty, which would affect your handling. The other reason would be that they would have divots worn into them because they're old and worn out and most likely dry. This should move smooth as glass and it is almost difficult to move. I'm not really sure uh, how this actually went down the road very well. And you can see, actually see the ridges and even worse, you can feel them. Each one of those bearings is getting caught in the divots. It can cause speed wobbles and cause the bike to weave and handle erratically. It's fucked up. Lower pinch bolt, upper pinch bolt while you're holding the fork leg and then slide it out. Two bolts on top to remove your headlight uh, eyebrow and light all in one piece. This will still be connected to the bike through the wiring harness. So I typically loosen both bolts, I wrap it in a cloth, and then move it off to the side a little bit. And then we'll move on to getting the triple trees off the bike. The last thing you're gonna do is uh, loosen the pinch bolt that holds the stem tight. And then there's a nut on top here. You'll back that nut completely off. And while you're doing that, hold the bottom triple tree because it's gonna wanna slide out. If you have a fork lock, I'll use the fork lock to set the tree on so it doesn't do that. Once the bolt's completely out, remove, move your triple tree out, slide it completely out, and then take your fork, your top tree off, and you are ready to remove your neck bearings. Okay, a lot of bikes will have a Zurich to grease the neck bearings. Really all that does is fill this tube up with grease and you're not trying to lube the shaft, you're trying to lube the bearings, which that doesn't do. So the only way to properly do it is to take it apart like we've done here, lube the bearings or replace them like these are gonna be need, need to be. And, and I'll just show you what happens when you lube the, uh, lube the neck. You saw how dry the bearings were before? I mean, that was doing nobody any good in there. Okay, there's a handful of different ways to get your races out of the neck. On FXRs, they're kind of difficult because the neck is smooth, there's no good lip. Uh, sometimes you get in there with a punch. On other models, a punch works well. There is a cup tool that can go in here. I don't have that. What I've always actually used is I use a TIG welder. And what I do is I go through and I actually just run a bead around the inside of the race on both sides. And when that cools, it contracts. A lot of times this bottom one will just fall out. And so, although there may be other ways to do it, I have a TIG welder, always have, and this is the way I've always done it. It's just quicker and easier for me. All right, so we've let it cool off a little bit. I weld the races up, and you can see they're already nice and loose. I usually just take a seal puller, just gently work around. 
Sometimes the bottom ones will literally just fall out, and if I let it cool all the way, it probably would. And then go ahead and do the same thing with the top. It should be, yep, nice and loose. Uh, I've never ever had one not come out this way. I've also, uh, I just feel like this way is just easier and cleaner, and you're not denting up anything from the inside, and you get a nice, clean, smooth bore to put a fresh race back into. Okay, so you're witnessing a first here. We've never done a second episode, but guess what? The fucking second episode is coming up.